Okay, check this out. This drill. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, keep the shoulders and hips forward too, to each other, square to each other, and yeah, really check in with your your stances. Flip this camera. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put this over here. Just go. <laughs> the elbows are up. It's just like bam. Right, so the way you you're going up the arms. Yep. Mom. So even if I don't get the shoulders, I still get the upper bicep. Yeah. So ch just check this out real quick. This is super important. See, the, see the thing, how the finger is leading here yeah. for, for your reverse breathing form. So the, how the finger is leading here. And uh, yesterday we were at the, the dojo and you saw like Mike Swain. You saw the, there's a, you saw a thing that said Swain on it, which mm -hmm. he's a judo champion. And I trained with him at one point. And he would talk about this grip, like in judo. Lifting up and shooting forward. Lifting up and shooting forward. So you grab the gi, lift up to pull the person in, and then you push him out. And so the same concept works with the, the, tr the, the arms or the limb. So here, even if you don't get the shoulder, you still have, look at this roll, and it's not, I'm not grabbing your arm. This, this, this structure of my fingers is happening, this, it may appear like a grab, but it's happening by nature of me rolling the fingers down. So I'm pointing my finger down and my thumbs are going in. So you can get this nice little flip even here to get somebody to go off. <coughs> Even if you if you can't get the shoulders, they may they may support, stop you before you get the shoulders and the leverage. So, but that same concept can happen here too. You know, the same concept can happen on on, on the limbs in multiple angles. So, <clears throat> just a, it's a nice little thing to notice. Just a little tip. Yeah. Yeah, I want to just get straight in, but you want to go. So you want to aim for the shoulders going over my hips. So, and if you can't get the shoulders, then maybe if you only get the the, the base, <coughs> uh, if you only get the. Uh, that was. Notice how you're already aiming this way. Great. More and square. No, you don't get so like if you want to wide, you want to get in the real technical stance, like for your. There we go. <coughs> necessarily need to be faster, it just needs to be more structured and focused on the direction that you're, you're pushing. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Okay. Yeah, so go. Good stuff. <clears throat> what did you notice there? You said hmm. I popped one and didn't pop the other. It stayed on the bicep. So. Yeah. I recommend while you're you're waiting to jump in. Oh yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Hold on. Watch. Yeah, if you can slide it just a little bit quicker. Oh, then, camera's then, on. Then, yep. Then, yep. Then.
keeping that three nail connection is super important too. Like, yeah, like I, I just I if I notice myself losing it, <coughs> then I have to make an adjustment to get it back. Yeah. Felt that I've lost <coughs> on the back, but yeah, well the back is going to rotate yeah, up exactly. sometimes. So yeah, but then, but if you start feeling the rotation up here, that means you're disconnecting from exactly where you want the claiming space. So it's like uh okay. So remember the hip is compensation for losing the shoulder space. So claim with the hip, and then claim with the hip, and then my body whips into the space. And then <coughs> yeah. So Often exhale here, and then the exhale will drop, which helps me drop my hips more easily. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, because you're um, <coughs> the, the the exhalation is is similar to like a like a, just a release of everything. So you're releasing everything into that front leg. It's like, Rather than releasing back, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, would be the release forward. <coughs> I think it's helpful because I think less on it, just like <laughs> sag into it. Yeah. As opposed to like drop the hip, go and, in. And that front hip, that knee and thigh, it's going to be like a blade. So as you exhale into that front, it's almost like this is a blade. And you're going to use that blade <coughs> in, uh, in, for caging. So we're playing push hands and like, okay. Yeah, I hear you. So you're using the same, uh, the same concept. So you want to start training the blade in this area. So remember, make, can make that connection, yeah, keep going, just make the connection first under the arms when you're receiving the push, and then drop the blade forward, yeah. <clears throat> so the goal here is to get the shoulders, to push your opponent's shoulders over the hips, over the hip line, which makes them lose balance. <clears throat> and it's counterintuitive, but the refutation for that particular in this drill uh, for that technique of getting pushed over your own hips is actually to whip your hips forward and then let the hip shoulders cascade forward with the hips with the momentum so the hips go forward and the shoulders cascade so it's almost like you're leaning into the fact that the opponent wants to push you over your own uh, hips most people if they get pushed over their own hips um, their shoulders get pushed over their hips, they fall to the ground. Most people will lose balance. So here, when this is happening, which a good player is going to aim for the shoulders, push you forward in and up to launch you over your hips, that you're going to whip your hips forward and drop. Now notice the connection on the arms. They're connecting their arms, and then they're dropping their hips under that connection to create a bridge and going under the bridge. So they're whipping the body forward. <coughs> Super helpful stuff to regain your balance, reclaim and space. Watch it one more time. Oh, there we go. That was that was nice. Sam, really follow through on that on the push over the shoulders for them. Yep, give more. Great. So notice the second you give more, it starts to degrade a little bit because then the emotion kicks in. Oh, it's yeah. like, oh, I don't want to get pushed. So both you guys just take note of that and keep checking in with each other so that you can take the intensity higher without um, degrading. W yeah, without degrading the, the, the technique. So, yeah, he's giving you more. So...
So Andrew, when when you're going, um, when he's, a, <clears throat> when it's his turn, mm -hmm. do your best to aim your palms, even if they're not going to the elbows, to aim them at the elbows. So yeah, as, as he's coming under, yep, your your hands are going to aim toward the elbows. Here. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> you're not necessarily going to take advantage of that position, but you always want to make sure that that you're um, that that the crosshairs are activated. So your crosshairs to keep your to keep yourself safe or, or with any opponent essentially is to control the elbow while standing up. You can control the entire elbow from the uh, entire body from the elbow if someone's standing up. But if someone's on the ground, if you do jujitsu, you know that knee control, being able to move the opponent's, uh, have control of someone's knee, allows you to swish their body around in many different ways, uh, like a big handle. So that the equivalent for stand-up is actually the, the elbow. We talk about that in some of our other training videos. Whoa. Good stuff. Let me just go. Okay, okay. That's freestyle. That's just, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, I got you. Which <laughs> This one? Yeah. crosshairs always aim at the elbows. So you always know where they are. You have to stay on the front leg. You can push your back so you just cut the foot of the phone. Uh, not necessarily into my leg yet. Feel free to check in with your stance because if you if you feel too narrow, like mm -hmm. you're on a line and you might wobble off the line, that means that you are too narrow. <laughs> so, so I just felt for myself, well, okay, let me step out so that I'm really again a way to check is if I drag one heel straight back and I try to put in, I'm shoulder width apart. So if I don't have that that stand inside on the corners of a box, you may not get the same level of stability. <clears throat> Giving you back to Jane. Oh, all right. Uh, I don't know. What do you? Let's see. What time is it? I gotta go some. Ten. Go back to the beach at some point. Okay. Oh. oh. Uh, Ten forty. Yeah. Ten forty. Okay. Cool? So yeah. So let's let's do. Uh, cool. You guys want to get some freestyle on? Sure. You want to get a little freestyle? Sure. Okay. So why don't you guys go for it? Let's do freestyle fixed step. Give a little freestyle for you yeah, to yeah, fix yeah, that yeah. first. What time is it? You know, uh, it's 10.29. How are you? How are you on time? I'm chilling. I'll be fine. Okay. So if you have to leave at 10.40, then we'll do your form at 10.40. Okay. So we'll do like 10 minutes of this. We'll do like 6 minutes of this. Freestyle. Oh, yeah. Freestyle. Yeah, collarbone to hip Man. playing area. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good start with the collarbone. Yeah, slap five. Yeah. Collar on a hip. Just want to get the other person to step. <coughs> Good stuff.
Okay. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Right. Yeah, good. arm drag. Ah, uh, keep. Yeah, keep that stance with the arm drag. That was good. I just want to grab your neck. I know. So, so like we, we can do this. No, 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 we won't normally. Okay. But you know what? He's a wrestler. Oh. I'll be all right. You have a lot of experience. <laughs> so let's let's try this. This is something I personally would love. I, I want to bring into the push hand circuit, but it doesn't really exist. Full body fix step. So feel right. free. So let's, try. To do head, let's try. Let's no. try. Let's try. Are you guys okay? Yeah, Same yeah. rule of just making the person move. Yeah. But just gonna like add the head and the legs. Yeah, I got you. Okay, you guys ready? So being able to like push. You, you can pick the leg up too. You can shoot and lift the leg up. Okay, well, we'll see how that works. Okay, let's go for it. All right, the you got it. Oh, so you got it. Lift up yeah, yeah, exactly. The whole thing is okay. fixed step. Though. It's fixed step. So in other words, if your it's leg is, out. if your if your leg is getting lifted, that means well, that you have to yeah, you, you have to change your route. Right, right, right. You have to, so, so so like yeah, yeah, this is this is part of evolving the style. So I can't move back as much because you're gonna. I, I gotta play this, man. Oh, nice. <clears throat> taking you with me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Taking you I with just try to put all my weight on. All right, I, 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 gotta, I gotta get in one, guys. I, I'm, I'm excited now. <laughs> okay, cool. Me and Sam, thank you. All right. all right. So full body. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Oh, but your foot's up, didn't yeah, so you? Lift your foot. That, that's, the time. that's the hard part about the leg. Like, <laughs> yeah, keeping it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have a totally different strategy than against me. <laughs> that was easy. It's using magic tricks against you. Just think of it that way. It's magic. Push it up. Push it up. <laughs> He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. We got that all. Open. I don't want to do that. I, I need to slow down that hit in the head. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I felt like it did a, uh, like the uh, what we were talking about yesterday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm resting. I saw <laughs> stars and I was like, this is good. <laughs> well, I, I mean, good in the sense that it like activated my full body. I get you. I made you react. I just cracked this dude in the back of the head. I feel so bad. I don't feel bad, man. It's part of it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I slid my back foot though. Oh, oh, oh. it's oh. hard, man. Keeping the steps. It was down. Keeping you honest. <laughs> going faster because yeah, it's an no, unknown it's reaction. It's like the, once you start adding in these things. You see, when you just like get into a weird technical Oh. 
So you're allowed to like pivot on it, right? Like obviously. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same here. <clears throat> Stand up, rest, and it's a. But you have to like not move. It's so weird. I stepped. Force of habit. Yeah. Well, it's a. If you're wrestling, that would be. So super experimental. Full body fix that push hands. Ooh. Ooh, oh, let's talk about that moment. What did you guys, what did you feel just now? I just wanted to get him off his feet. But, but I, I saw a shoulder, a shoulder press onto his right hip. Yeah. So, so can you describe that? I thought of the sprawl, but I can't sprawl because you're using your feet, right? Yeah, so it's like, exactly. how do I not sprawl but keep my weight there? And like, because you know, so, you're used to just uh, so, I want to back it up. So, but you can still do the spiraling down of the chest oh, on his back. Yeah. Which is so like I was trying, but he was getting under me, and then it's like he can lift me up, right? So, you, what is, you try it again? Like, yeah, yeah, I was, I'm just super interested in like of articulating, yeah, the that are like, like that shoulder. Like, that was a, I had the leg; it wasn't moving, so I needed more force. That's all it was. Yeah. I was okay. Thinking of like, oh, do I get my headlock? So you You're doing the headlock. I could try that, but I'm yeah. not doing that. Yeah, we're, we're morphing rules and stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to be cool. So <laughs> This is how you advance an art, guys. Yeah. Working on it, slowing it down. Good stuff. Good stuff. <coughs> Good stuff. Ooh. Ooh. That was nice. That was a nice little. <laughs> It's like you're gonna go for that leg. I'm so paranoid of that leg that I'm like, I gotta stop you from getting that leg. <coughs> Sam, so, 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 here's a, I'm gonna give a little, I'm gonna give him a little strategy, see if it works. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 how about this? Sure. So, yeah, um, I noticed that you keep on bridging. He's a you, coach. You keep on um, connecting to a particular position. And then you stay in that position and keep going for it. Yeah. Um, I'm giving him too much time to Yeah, I, I would, I would I fake, hear you. fake the positions. In other words, go for one and then literally the exact opposite and then okay. start chaining that together. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Okay. <coughs> no, I just. Oh, it's bigger. It doesn't necessarily mean faster, Sam. It just means the, the, the strategy. Good stuff. Good stuff. <clears throat> uh -oh. Nice. Look at that little ward off. That was ward off, dude. That was a little ward off that you just did. Nice. That's like playground. Oh, so, so hold on, hold on. Let, let me give let me give you one strategy here. So, so okay. Yeah. Right, so, so um. Think about smothering on this strategy. In other words, like as you as you compress him, he's gonna to want to expand to another thing. The second he expands, throw him away. Yeah. If you're already doing the throw away, great. Now just add that that, that aspect. The right. compress first before the throw. Yep. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I moved my <clears throat> I got the hot temperature. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, no point. That's a no point. Wow, that's a weird... Okay, nice. So Sam has a chaining strategy, and he, now he has a compress and release strategy. Compress yeah, and release no, means good. you put pressure on the opponent. The second they respond, you throw a bomb. Compress and release. Yep. Sam is doing a... Uh, shape to opposite shape. <clears throat> so he's creating a position and then going the opposite direction and chaining those together. What do you think? I think it was just a strategy. Oh, you know what? Guys, it's a great idea. Let's, uh, I mean, do you have to leave exactly at 1040? Because it's 1040. Okay, so let's, let's get a, let's, let's, let's scale the rules back a little bit and do collarbone to hip. 
And let's do moving step only in this circle pit. So whoever gets pushed out of the circle pit is uh, essentially into the shadow, into the, to the sunlight. Oh, yeah. You push into the sunlight. Yeah, let's just use the sunlight. Exactly. So collarbone to hip. This is Tai Chi World Cup rule set. Collarbone to hip playing area. Push, push or throw into the sun. <clears throat> oh, so only, no head, just collarbone to hip. There we go. Well, okay, we're gonna consider that an out since yeah. that's like <laughs> there's, there's, there's no sun over here. <laughs> <clears throat> nice out. Oh, did you pick up a leg? Oh, I did. Oh, okay. No leg. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, no leg. I can't remember the rules. Okay, no head, no leg. So this is just collarbone to hip playing area. This is Tai Chi World Cup style rules. It's gonna get you really proficient at controlling the midsection. Can I step on his feet? Yes, you can. You can use caging, meaning uh, the legs to cut into the legs. Use your legs to cut into his legs. Good stuff. Am I allowed to use my head? No, I'm not. No, no, no. No, no I learned that one too. Ooh, Ooh. nice arm. Keep, keep it going, keep it going. Out. <clears throat> really use that footwork, Sam, to get on, get on the side and drive. Same way you did with the, 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 the hip line with Autumn yesterday when you took her down. Sam did a wonderful slam on, on my lady yesterday. <laughs> I was talking. I was talking to her. About, I was talking to her about that afterwards. She was just like, <laughs> she's like, she's like, I've never been thrown like that before. I'm like, I. Know. I was talking to her about. I was talking to her about that afterwards. She was just like, <laughs> she's like, she's like, I've never been thrown like that before. I'm like, I know. I played with a lot of wrestlers, so that was great. She really wanted to do push hands with you too at the end. I was just like, oh, look, another time. Okay, that's out. You're out, you're already you're already out of the. Oh, psh, your leg just Remember, the sun is moving, so. <laughs> Go. <clears throat> It's instinctual. Like the head that you're like, oh. Sam, okay, can I switch in? Oh, who, who, wants to, who wants to stay in? Uh, I can stay in. Okay. I'm already here. Stay for two more seconds. All right. Yeah. Slow motion. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to call go? Oh. Go. <laughs> go. Is that there? Go. Oh, that's already going. <laughs> you gotta do this at the beach in sand. You have a little circle. It's like sumo. Huh? You think it'd be easier or harder yeah. on sand? Different. It's usually harder. <laughs> when I get that inside, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I want to grab that neck. Oh, you got the under hook. Remember the boost that we did earlier? Yeah. The handle flip? Yeah, right here. Kid, throw me that one. Yep, 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 yep. Woo! I think we gotta switch. I gotta be the cameraman. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. On your go. Go. Now I grabbed your leg. Can I wrap legs like I just did? 
That's a gray area, isn't it? It's a gray area. Uh, you're not supposed, and Tai Chi World Cup's out, you're not necessarily supposed to do this. Mm. I did that as like my, so you can get away with it. Let me put this, you can do it, and sometimes the judge will call it a they walk. So I threw my like last match uh, for a title. I threw the guy intentionally knowing that it was against the rules, just to mess with the rhythm of the other round. I knew they wouldn't give me the point. Nice. They did not give me the point. Nice. But I needed a, an oh, extra wow. second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Psychologically, yeah, that's he didn't like it. Oh, he's got the fireman. Pick him up. Take him for a ride. <laughs> I love how you got like super comfortable. When you I was always ground. a down wrestler. You were like, ah. Yeah, this is where I'm mostly <laughs> comfortable. I never like the top stuff because you can't pin anybody from there. So walk here. You can. It just takes more work. You know what I mean? Well, that's where the structural <laughs> structural locking is going to come into play a lot. Yeah. So. Even stuff like stuff like this, where someone hold my my wrist out like that again. Yeah. Stuff like this, where. So stuff like this. Sometimes if I'm playing with a really aggressive player and I just need to do it. Oh. <laughs> I'll literally just cut with the knee. Damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Respect. Create the pressure circuits and then use your footwork to cut somebody off. Drive. Yeah, because if you're, if you're really just going to get somebody against the wall or out of a ring, it's like, okay, well, how do I do it with the least damage to both of us as possible? Yeah. So it's like, okay, I'm pinning, I have your arm pinned, and if you want to do something, I mean, you know, go for anything you want, but essentially I'm using my wings to stay connected to you, to you and I'm still cutting off the rim of my foot. So why don't you try a round like that? I'm gonna play extending. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play to keep you at, at mid range to long range. And you play this to, to smother and walk me out. So it means you gotta get it. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go. Let me put this. Oh, let's get you stretched up. No, no, no. I'm no, good. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. Don't worry. Continue no, no, we get, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it. Continue. I good luck, guys. Go.